I'm Lewis and this is Neoplanes. For today's instruction video, I'm going to be showing you how I'm going to attach a parachute to my quadcopter to uh, put it in action in this Sunday's flying video. Now, I don't recommend you guys do this. I am doing it because I've had the curiosity to try it out for many years and uh, what better time to do it. Now, uh, you're going to need a few things for this. You're going to need a quadcopter with a transmitter, a few rubber bands, a servo, double-sided tape, and zip ties, and the parachute. The first thing I want to do is uh, find the CG in my quadcopter so that I can attach the parachute there. That way when it's falling from the sky, the quadcopter doesn't tilt forward or backwards and it falls uh, just flat. So uh, I have the quadcopter set up as I usually fly with the battery right here and the camera there. And the CG is usually located here. So let's give it a try. and. It is balanced. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach the quadcop I mean the parachute here using some zip ties. All right. So using a zip tie or two, I'm going to attach the the parachute right on the CG as I said, and I'm going to use white zip ties on purpose so that way I can I can see them easily. And sure enough, yep, it doesn't uh, tilt to one side or the other. The next thing I want to do is uh, attach a servo because that's going to be the release mechanism for the parachute so it opens up. So the, the first thing I want to do is actually check if the servo I'm going to use works. So I'm going to hook it up. The next thing I want to do is attach the servo. So I'm going to attach it using some double sided tape and zip ties. That way I have some redundancy. The last thing that to do is to attach a rubber band here. So I found this blue rubber band that uh, should work. Alright, now all there is left to do is to test it out. So I'm gonna turn it back on. I have to reverse the servo because it is in the wrong direction. And all we have to do is just set it up. So I'm gonna go like this. Just bring the rubber band over the parachute. Alright, so that is pulling on the servo. You can hear the servo like it's pushing against the rubber band rather than pushing against the servo. But let's test it out. I'm gonna hit the snap switch on my transmitter, and that should just release the rubber band. Perfect. So let's test it out a few more times to make sure it works. This is pretty much it for today's final video. Now, if you're in the future, you can just click the link that appears right now on the screen, and that'll take you to uh, this Sunday's final video. Or you can just click the link that appears right now, and that'll take you to last Sunday's final video. Now, if you like today's video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to keep on watching all the videos and everything else, all you have to do is click that button down there and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.